Hi, this video I'm making in response to a question I got from Build a Website with Dora AI, one of my previous videos, and it came from not your sushi. Um, she asked, or he or she asked a very good question, and I thought I'd investigate. They were asking about how do, how do you actually download the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript, all those files and bits of information about the website you build in Dora AI, which is kind of a good question because if I'm going to build a website using AI, I want to be able to put, move it wherever I want, not necessarily use the pointing tool that they have in Dora to point it towards the Dora branded hosted platform or to point it towards a custom one. Why can't I simply just download the files and move it wherever I want? So I thought that was a very cool question. So I thought I'd investigate. First place I went to was to Dora itself. So I went to Dora dot run and I got to this site here I hope it will come up Dora dot run is trying to get itself up yep so I went to Dora dot run and I tried to get their help documents which I think their help center which I thought was a good place to start um, in the help center I typed in exactly that I want to export the website which kind to me was the kind of um, information I was looking for. So what I did there, not there, I typed in in their search documents, Dora um, export, export, if I could spell, export, export website. I checked their help and none of the articles that came up were really relevant to the question I was asking. There's someone about subscription, 3D, how is it different, but nothing that I was looking for. I half suspect, but I, um, I half suspect that the way you can, might be able to export it was to um, pay for a paid subscription. And I was really tempted to do that. However, when I kind of went back to my site and I logged in, like I'm about to do now, I, according to an article, I should have been able to find an export button either in my settings or near my profile. And honestly, I checked everywhere for the export button, but I couldn't find it. So um, I went back to the help and here I asked the chat. So it said, did I want to chat? Yes, I wanted to chat. So I went into messages and it said, ask a question. And I actually asked a question. This is one I did earlier and I'll scroll back up to show you the question I was asking. In this blue area, you can see, I would like to know how to export what the website I design in Dora. And what it says here is to export your website designed in Dora, you don't actually need to export it in the traditional sense. Instead, you can publish it directly from our platform. Here's how. And uh, it walks you through the steps about clicking the publish button. You'll see the option to publish to a Dora subdomain or custom domain. And for a quick publish, turn on the switch the the switch for the Dora subdomain. This is a free this is free and instant. But if you prefer your own custom domain, you can go through. And I thought to myself, okay, yeah, I get that. I kind of got that the first time. It asked, did it answer my question? I said, not quite. What if I wanted to have the files, HTML, CSS, etc.? And it clearly goes on to say, I apologize, but we don't have an option to export HTML, CSS, or other files from Dora. Our platform is designed for you to create and publish websites directly without needing to manage the individual files. So um, not your sushi. I think that answers your question there. It's not designed, but your question still intrigued me. And I thought to myself, I did some searching and I came up with this particular site, uh, this particular video by DAPS. And I really thought it was very cool and very well done. Um, DAPS, you might want to subscribe to his channel because he's got some informative things and this particular thing that he's talking about cloning any website in five in under five minutes for free in 2025 i thought yeah that sounds pretty cool and so i thought i'd try it so that's exactly what i did so it you can only there is an add-on or an extension that you need to use but you can use it in a chrome um, browser that why not try it so i went into my chrome chrome browser and I installed, and I have done this pr previously, I installed this resource saver extension. Now, if you want to know how to do that, you just go to Chrome Web Store. 
you type in resource saver, uh, press enter. It gives you a number of options, but the one you're looking for is this one. You can see I've got it installed. You would click on it and it will install. Maybe an install button here, it would say install instead of remove. Now, once you've done that, you can then um, use the extension. So for instance here, next you go to the site. So I thought, okay, let me try this on my Dora site. Uh, Dora, my site in Dora, there it is. Now the idea is once you've opened the site up, all you need to do is you need to right click and go into inspect mode. That shows you all the code behind the website, the HTML code, the styles, etc. And it looks like pretty promising that I could actually download the whole lot. Now, what I uh, what I what they suggest next is you click these two two little arrows, and you can see you've got the resource saver there. So what I should be able to do according to DAPS was to click the resource saver. It opens up this little sub window, and it uh, and then you can see that that's the link download from download from sites and that's the site and save all the resources so what it's supposed to then do is download all the bit all the kind of content from the site and there is in a nice zip package in there if i extract all you've got a whole series of files and what you're supposed to do is look for the folder that has the url for the site so the folder that should have the URL for the site is this one, femtech.dora.run. Double click on it. The index folder is there and you should then double click on the index file. Now the index file, yep, as you can see, it kind of got there halfway, but what's missing is the actual bit that I'm looking for, which is my um, site created in Dora AI. It didn't allow me to get that far. Now it might work better with the developer extension. I don't know, I'll try that. But as you can see, it didn't work that way. But as I said, DAPS did provide a very good tool, a very useful tool that I can use for back, backing up my future websites and current websites for that matter. I'll use this tool to back up my websites I developed for myself and my clients. But unfortunately, not not your sushi, I hope I'm saying that right, and apologies if I'm not, not your sushi. The answer to the question, as far as I can see, is that you can't currently download the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and other files for the website that you design in Dora, but you can actually use their pointing tool or their shifting tool to, to um, uh, copy the, the website onto either the Dora branded hosting platform or a subdomain on there or to your custom domain. So I hope indirectly it answers, but I'm sorry I couldn't find you a better answer. Um, keep listening, keep subscribing and share if you like, but thank you for asking that question.